All right, good morning. It's Wednesday. You're ready to start the day. You're ready to attack the day. You're ready to find victory today and win the day. Day three of our prayer week it is Wednesday. Good morning, everyone. Great to see everybody joining us this morning. Fantastic day yesterday. Yesterday was uh, Reach Out for Healing Tuesday. So many people put names of people that need physical healing or emotional healing or mental healing on the screen. Good morning, Farrah. Good to see you this morning. Freddie's already in the house. Freddie's here early. Good morning, Freddie. Sandy's in the house this morning. Great day yesterday. Good morning, Kelly. Uh, my mom shared with me. She called me. She was so excited. She got opportunities to, to pray with people yesterday. She was thrilled. My mom, 86 years old, she said she walked across the street, prayed for someone. She, she called me yesterday and said, I, I, I need someone else. I need someone else to pray for. She's out there making a difference. She's out there changing lives, looking for people to invite into the kingdom of God. My mom loved that lady. She's doing great. Good morning, Rick. Great to see you this morning. All right. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice in it and be glad this morning. Uh, who do you love this morning that is resisting God? Who do you care about this morning that's hardened their heart? They've closed their heart to spiritual things. They don't know Lord, the, the Lord. They've closed their heart to Him. Paul said we need to pray in a specific way. We've been talking about how to pray for lost people. And Paul gives us another clue this morning. Uh, he says that we ought to pray for an open door in their life. We ought to pray for an open door to share Christ. We need to, to pray when the door is closed in a relationship. We need to pray that the door would open. I want to tell you this morning what that looks like. Here's what Paul says in Colossians chapter 4, verses 2 to 4. He says, devote yourselves to prayer. Stay consistent in prayer. Don't pray once and give up. Keeping alert in prayer with an attitude of thanksgiving. Praying at the same time for us. Now, Paul is calling on the church to pray for he and his apostolic team that's going out to share the gospel. Praying at the same time for us as well. That God will open to us a door for the word of God. So that we may speak forth the mystery of Christ, for which I also have been imprisoned, that I may make it clear in the way I ought to speak. All right, Paul said a whole bunch of things in those three verses right there. Let me share what, what Paul just said. He said, be devoted to prayer. Stay constant in prayer. Don't pray once and quit. Okay? He said, he said it's going to take continual prayer to break down the stronghold in that person's life. Number two, keep your eyes open. He said, be watchful in prayer. In other words, as you, as you pray and then you go through your day, you're watching to see what God is doing. You're looking for the activity of God in people's lives. So this morning, we're going to pray for that person or for those people in your life that, are, that have hardened their hearts. Then we're going to watch every day. We're going to watch. We're going to be alert in prayer to see what God is doing in that person's life. Number three, we're going to be thankful. Paul says, be thankful. Th God, thank you that you're working. Thank you. I trust you. I, I'm hopeful, God, today that you are doing a work in that person's life. Stay thankful, friends. Number four, pray for a door to open in people's lives so they're open to God. See, they, they close their hearts. Pray that their hearts would begin to open to God. And then number five, pray for the right words to speak when the door opens. Pray, Paul says, pray for, pray for us also that, that I would know how I ought to speak when that door opens. So we're going to pray those things this morning, friends. But let me give you a, a couple other scriptures this morning. First of all, in Acts chapter 16, verses 13 and 14, Paul says, On the Sabbath day we went outside the gate to a riverside where we were supposing that there would be a place of prayer. We sat down and we began speaking to the women who had gathered there. A woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple fabrics, a worshiper of God. She was a Jew, but she didn't know Christ was listening, then it says, and the Lord opened her heart to respond to the things spoken by Paul. See, God opened her heart. Paul didn't open her heart. We don't open their hearts. The Holy Spirit opens their hearts. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3 says this. Paul says, therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God can ever say Jesus is accursed. And no one can say... Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. How do people come to the point where they recognize Jesus is Lord? By the work of the Holy Spirit. So, so it's the Holy Spirit that opens people's hearts, but he opens the door through prayer. We need to pray, and then when that door opens, we need to begin to, to be willing to step through it. So what does it look like 
when God is opening the door of someone's heart. I, I said earlier, keep your eyes open. Be attentive. Paul says, be alert as you pray. Watch for the hand of God and what he's doing in someone's life. What does that look like? Number one, he softens their heart and they become less antagonistic toward God. They, they become less uh, you know, defensive about God when you bring it up. They're, they're less you know, uh, going to push back with you. They're, they're less antagonistic with you about God. Number two, God awakens a desire in their life, in their heart, for a greater purpose. They, they may begin to feel and say things like, there's got to be more. There's got to be more to life than this. That's how you know God's beginning to awaken them to a, to a desire for greater purpose. Number three, God reveals their need for God in the midst of crisis. So they may be going through a difficult time, and, and they begin thinking or asking, can God really help me? Um, or sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll revert back to their, their, their upbringing, their, their, their childhood, when they went to church, and they'll go, I need to go back to church. I need to go find God again. So, so God begins to reveal in the midst of crisis or difficulty that God is the answer. So when people are going through difficult times, that's the, that's the best time to, to begin to, to, to talk about God and, and to maybe suggest that God could help in that because God may be opening their hearts in crisis, in pain, in suffering to turn to Him for help. Number four, God begins to guide the conversation that you have with people towards spiritual things. All right, And then number five, he, he creates an interest in their heart for God and they'll begin to ask questions. So you'll notice that the conversation begins to go to God or spiritual things, or they begin to ask questions about the Bible. They begin to ask questions about faith. They begin to ask questions about life. That's when you know God is opening up their hearts to who he is. All right? So Paul said, man, pray consistently. Be devoted to prayer. Be thankful in prayer. Believe that God is working, right? Pray for an open door, and then pray for the right words to speak when that door opens. You love someone today that's hardened their heart against God. We're going to pray for them right now. We're going to pray that God will continue. Would you pray with me this morning, friends? Lord, this morning we recognize that it's by consistent prayer, faithful prayer, that you open the door of people's hearts. So, Lord, we want to be faithful today and say, Lord, in this person's life, would you, would you open their heart in Jesus' name? We confess this morning. Friends, take a minute and say, Lord, I confess that you are working in their heart even when I can't see it. Lord, I believe that you are at work in that person's life. And, Lord, we announce this morning that Satan is powerless to keep their heart closed. God, you are more powerful than Satan. He cannot keep them under his thumb. He cannot keep their hearts closed because we are praying, God, that you would open their hearts and we declare Satan has no power or authority in their life. We, we ask you, Lord, to open the door of their hearts to your truth. God, awaken their spirits. Awaken them to the reality of who you are. Awaken them to your love. Awaken them to your goodness today, God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we renounce in Jesus' name, every excuse, and we take authority over every spirit in them that resists the gospel. We take authority over every excuse they're making, all of the defense mechanisms, God, today, for why they are resisting you. We pull those down in the name of Jesus. And Lord, every, every resisting spirit, we take authority over it today in Jesus' name and pray, Lord, that they would be open in their hearts to who you are. And Lord, now we, we receive, Holy Spirit, we receive from you the ability to see and discern and detect what's happening in people's lives around us that we care about. Help us to see, God, what you're doing in their life. And Lord, we pray for boldness in the Spirit, boldness to step through the door today. If someone asks us a question about you or spiritual things, that we would walk through it today, God, in Jesus' name. And now, Lord, we ask you that you give us the right words today. God, we want, to, we want to speak your word. We want to speak your truth. We, we want to do it in a sensitive way, but in a wise way. So God, fill our mouth with your words today that we might speak truth into the lives of people that don't know you today. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, this is Expect an Open Door Wednesday. Expect an Open Door Wednesday. That means today, God is working all around you. God is working in people's hearts, even people that have been hard and antagonistic. As we stay faithful in prayer, as we devote ourselves to prayer, God is at work. And so we've taken authority over the powers of darkness and the work in people's hearts. God is slowly opening their hearts. Watch today. Be watchful. Open your eyes, your spiritual eyes, to see what God is doing. If he opens a door to talk, step into that door and trust 
If the Holy Spirit in that moment is going to give you the right words today. Amen? We're praying for people that don't know Jesus. We're praying for people to be saved. This is a lost world, friends. This world is, is going to hell quickly. And we need to take as many people with us as we can today. Amen? Have a great Wednesday today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.